What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Hillbilly Fab Shop. <clears throat> Today, I'm doing some maintenance on this uh, stump grinder. It's a Beretto 30SG. I got some videos on this channel of me changing the oil and uh, I think messing with my hydraulic fluid and a couple other things, my pump. But today we're just gonna do minor maintenance. Uh, I gotta change the oil, I'm gonna change the hydraulic filter, and I'm gonna put some bolts and fix my guards and stuff like that. Uh, this is a 2020 model. These things are awesome, but they're very tedious in maintenance. You really gotta, you really gotta stay on these things and like uh, grease them daily, uh, clean them constant. They are not the easiest things to clean. If you go hard like me with stumps, uh, these things get loaded with mulch and they take some time to get all the mulch out of them and clean, but they're pretty easy. If you got a big backpack blower, like a big steel or something, you can blow them out pretty well and then spray them after that and clean them. It's not as bad, but they're still pretty tedious to take care of. So if you're thinking of getting a Beretto SG30 stump grinder, you better do all this stuff yourself because you got to grease it daily and just clean it all the time to keep it clean so you can keep everything functioning right. Uh, keep extra o-rings and stuff like that on you make sure they're hydraulic o-rings and not regular ones because they will eat rubber ones up you gotta have silicone all right and i believe that's it for the little tips for now but i'm gonna get some clips of me cleaning and working on this thing today and here it is it's a little dark in here right now i ain't got my lights on these things are beasts i like them they get in and out of all kinds of places that's the hydraulic filter um, looks like a mini tank. You got your track driven stuff. It's all hydraulic. Uh, oil filter. We drain the oil from that little hose over there. And as for the hydraulic fluid, I'm pretty sure I got a video on here of me showing how to drain the hydraulic fluid. There's a bolt underneath it, and you open that bolt up, and it'll drain right out. Um, but Let's get to work on her. Had to take a trip to O'Reilly's. Good old O'Reilly. And get some Wix filters for the grinder. All right, so we got our Wick hydraulic filter. You have to ask for these over the counter at O'Reilly's. They usually don't have them on the shelves. They only put select ones out there that are used a lot. So we're gonna put this new one on. <sighs> Crack his sucker loose. It was already a little loose, so the guys that last changed this at the rental shop, apparently, just don't know how to tighten anything. I've already put new fresh fluid in my grinder, so I'm hoping this all don't leak a lot out. We just put some uh, more hydraulic fluid down the side of here before I screw it on there so it's not empty. Should get these things nice and snug but not over tight. We're going to drain all this old oil out of this Beretto SG30 stump grinder. Run it all into the tray. Get that loose. Takes a 5 eighth.
motor only holds two quarts of SAE 30 weight. Make sure when you're draining the oil out of these things that you jack them up from the front because it does come out pretty slow. It don't take a lot of oil, a couple quarts, two, three quarts is all it takes. But jack this thing up and help it go out faster because it comes out in a small flow. It's slowly filling the pan, but it takes a good minute. Now we're gonna get this oil filter off. I changed from a Kohler to a wick this time just because I was put, I changed from the, I'm gonna take this oil filter out. It's only been about not even a hundred hours yet since I changed this one, but I'm going ahead and changing it. I switched from the Kohler to the Wix just because I use a hydraulic Wix filter. And a lot of people have been using Wix lately. So uh, apparently they must be good filters. So I'm going to give them a try. It's the only thing about right here is it makes a hell of a mess the way it's just on the side of the motor. Uh, so we'll change it out for the new Wix filter. Now, if y'all'd rather use a Wix, then the Kohler filters for these Barretto's, that's the number you need to match the Kohler. And if you wanna use a Kohler, that's the number you use for the Kohler. I don't have any problems with my Kohler. You know, I mean, I think they all kind of work the same, same amount of hours. This one lasted about a hundred hours. So on this motor, I changed it out for this. So, honestly, looks like it has less holes, but bigger ones than the Kohler. The only difference I really see in that, uh, I'll weigh this thing down in here a little bit. I am gonna put a little oil in it when I get the oil, but for now I'm just gonna kind of screw it on here, make sure it fits until I go get a couple quarts of oil because I forgot to get them while I was out. Got in a hurry. So I'm just gonna hand twist that it for now. So it's gonna be a good fit. And get rid of this old filter. And for your hydraulic filters, this is the number you need for Wix at O'Reilly's. Remember, ask over the counter because they won't have them out there on the shelves most likely. Got three quarts of SAE 30 to put in here. They're pretty simple, pretty fast to change the oil on these things. Yeah, right there's your oil back here. Take that bolt out, drains right in. It's a 5 8 And uh, your filter right over here on this side. So pretty simple to change the oil on these things and this is a Vanguard 31 horsepower pretty good motor this one's got a little over 900 hours already Let's put the first cord in Let's see where we're at Zeus and Yogi so we got one quart down two more to go just put the second cord in. We're gonna see where this dipstick's going, looking at. So two cords in, got us to where we need to be. So it only does take two cords in these 31 horsepower Vanguards. So I did forget to get my, my bolts so I could repair my uh, guards so chips aren't flying and smacking me. And I was gonna repair I'm loose over here on this side. I got to repair that as well. Uh, I didn't get to any of that today. So I'm going to do that real quick tomorrow at some point in time. So this morning I fired this thing up. Forgot I left my filter loose. Drained out all my SAE 30 I just put in it. So now... Gotta go pick up another cord. Good thing I got three, because I was keeping the backup as a little extra to tip it off every now and then. So I put that in it. Now I gotta go get another cord to put in it. And then we're gonna go pick up the hardware so I can bolt back my guard on this side and tighten up and fix some of all the other loose crap. This thing vibrates everything loose. It's 
make sure you check all your bolts and nuts we gotta change the teeth on this thing They're pretty easy to get up out of here usually these have been on here for maybe eight months or so you just usually got to beat these things out a little, knock them loose so you can get them out, especially if they've been on there for a little while. And that way it pushes it out. I keep these for backups, and also you can take a grinder and like round these things out and smooth them out and stuff to make them last longer. I usually use the green teeth ones. They're the best for these. When you put these things on, don't forget your little, uh, this little piece right here. It's like a little cap. Helps sit in here and hold your, hold your tooth when you put it in there. And they kind of sit in here like, like so. About like that. And you take your tooth. And you can run it up. Inside of there. You might need to tap it in a little bit. You sit on here like this. And you just screw your piece on. Get it good and tight down on there. I'll tighten it in just a minute. But they round out and wear out pretty quick. The tops do. So change them out every once in a while. And keep an eye on them. As you can see. They get pretty ate up. Last time I ordered the wrong ones. You see the size difference. These are way bigger. Way bigger than those other ones. So this is about a week later from the other piece of the video on here. I had to go make a little bit of money so I could afford a few things for this. As you can see, I still haven't got this put on yet. We're working on that. Also, Dad had an idea to use some of the old rubber matting we found out of a house clean out. And I'm experimenting with it. This is where I'm at so far. I'm drilling holes. I'll show y'all how I'm doing this. But this is just a, this was a practice run. And so far, I like it. And I'm putting the bolts, on, the, the nuts on the outside because they're getting worn out from the inside, from the dirt and everything else. They just corrode away. And so I'm putting them on the outside for the flap that I'm creating around this to help uh, keep so many chips flying everywhere. It used to have a lot more and they broke off and worn out. This ain't even that old of a machine. It's a 2020. So these things will wear fast if you if you run the run the hell out of them like we do. But I mean, they're great machines. Don't get me wrong, but they—they're a lot of maintenance. They are. They're especially if you run them extremely hard and you have to do a lot of work, like we do. Uh, they definitely are all about some maintenance. <laughs> so, but they—I mean—they tear up some big stumps. Great machines, but a lot of work, a lot of maintenance on them to keep them up and running and strong. Especially once you get up around 900 hours and stuff. The motor also got like a, it's, I don't know, it's acting like it's a lost power and it's got like a little mist to it. Uh, it's weird, it was running fine, doing a job. I stopped for a second, turned it off, turned it back on, that's when it started. It was running fine before that, so I'm hoping I got a bad spark plug. So we're going to pull these plugs out of this thing. So I ain't never changed the plugs since I had it, so we're going to change the plugs on it. And I'm hoping to God that this is the only thing because I really can't take a blow like this right now. It's It's been a hard couple years. Things are getting expensive and I really got to get on level ground with this. So this is a 3 8 to plug. We'll pull it out of here. See what she looks like. This is plug number one, and my phone's having issue focusing. But I mean, it looks like it due to be replaced. Definitely, uh, it's a little dry. That's for sure. 
But yeah, she's definitely old and crispy. But just to show you, I got the second plug out. If you look at him, you can tell this pl the plug on the right is wet and the plug on the left is dry. So I'm assuming that's where my problem lies. So we're going to put two new ones in here and we'll see what's going on here. I'm hoping, hoping I ain't got no ring problems on one of these pistons or something. But let's see. So we've got the new plugs and I'm gapping, gapping them now. Always make sure you check your spark plugs because uh, they aren't gapped what they need for your, your motor. These are 0 0.030. And the, they come at zero, right above zero twenty. So I gotta go up a little, good little ways to gap them correctly for this uh, Vanguard, which is made by Briggs and Stratton Motor. It's a thirty-one horsepower. So we've got the new plugs gapped and put in there. Still sounds like it's kind of choking a little bit. So we're gonna spray some brake cleaner down inside this corroded plug wire Thank y'all for watching the video of me working on the grinder and doing maintenance and stuff. Turns out it has a bad coil, so I gotta take the whole back cover of the motor off, which includes taking the back drive shaft part uh, out of the way to pull that off. And then I'm putting new coils and stuff in it. I'm also gonna need to get a new plug wire on that one side. And I'm hoping that's all. I've had a lot of problems out of this machine since I've paid it off. Um, probably not anything on the manufacturer or anything. It was a rental machine and I bought it from a rental place. So I guess it's just part of the game, but I really think they knew that that thing was a piece of shit. Sorry for the language, but you know, it's, that's what it's been since I've paid it off or it's just my bad luck, one or the other. But anyway, there's gonna be a part two to this video of me, uh, hopefully putting a new coil and everything and all that fixing it. I'm hoping because I really need to make some money. I'm in a bad place right now with uh, work and everything. So I'm hoping to be able to stay grinding, keep moving, and keep making money maybe. But it's been nothing but a downhill struggle for the past like year and a half. And I'm tired of it. So hopefully we can get some good vibes our way and start hammering down and getting stuff done. But please hit the like and subscribe and watch for the new video coming out. And it'll also show me finishing putting like the mud flaps down around the uh, the wheel and everything to help create a guard for all the mulch that flies out and everything. I still gotta finish all that stuff. So all that'll be in video number two, me finishing up the machine, putting coil on, new plug wire and stuff like that. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I try to answer everybody. Uh, please leave the smart ass comments off there because I'll be a smart ass back and it also gets you blocked. So. Again, please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.